If you own a Canon EOS camera, maybe a point and shoot, a DSLR, or even mirrorless camera, then the chances are is that you can probably use it as your webcam. So that's why in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through the Canon EOS Webcam Utility Pro software that will allow you to use your camera as a webcam. So let's get into it. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Tukori with Think Media. Now it's important to first know what camera you're gonna be using. Determine that model because it's gonna be important when you download the software. For this demonstration, I'm actually gonna be using the Canon EOS R10. It's an incredible camera. I actually made a full review on this camera. If you want to check that out, you can do so at the end of this video. But the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the website where you can download this software and we'll put a link to it down in the description below. But as you scroll down on this page, you're going to see some information about this software. You have a free tier and then you have a paid tier. The free tier is going to allow you to use one Canon camera, but it's very limiting as far as the features go. The paid tier is gonna be a subscription model and it's gonna be either $5 a month or $50 a year. However, you don't really need to decide that now because everyone who is signing up for the first time can get a free 30 day trial to the pro version. Some of the features that get unlocked with the pro version is being able to use up to five cameras plugged into your computer or laptop and then you could switch between them which is super great for things like multi-cam live streaming or maybe video podcasts. It also gives you the ability to use one camera wirelessly. So if you want to literally show something and not even be hooked up via USB, you can totally do that. It allows you to unlock 1080p. You can also create scenes. So let's just say if you do video conference calls or you do live streams, maybe you wanna share a screen and then put yourself small on the side or choose the way you wanna do that. And it's all in one when you upgrade to the pro version. But like I said, free 30 day trial which is pretty sweet. So if you keep scrolling on the page, you're then gonna see all the various different Canon models that are gonna allow you to download the software. If you have a power shot, just be sure to click that tab. In this case, I got the Canon R10, so I'm gonna click on the Canon R10, make sure I have my operating system selected, and then just simply hit download. Once this downloads, I think this is a good time to actually close out applications you have open because it's gonna prompt you to restart your computer. Once you restart your computer, you're gonna go to your applications, open up the Canon EOS Utility folder, and then double click on the Pro version. Once you've opened up the software, you can literally plug in your camera by using your USB cable, and the software should now recognize the camera, but it's important to note that the software opened up for the first time, you're only using the free version. If you wanna go to the top right and select My Subscription, you can go through the prompts to be able to access that 30-day free trial. And it's just a matter of creating an account, choosing a subscription you wanna choose. Once you go through it all and you go back to the EOS webcam utility software, you're gonna hit the gear icon on the top right and then there's some things you're gonna wanna do. For instance, under subscription, you can now see that their trial is active. And then second, under video, you can actually change the video quality from 720 to 1080 and then you can change your target streaming frame rate. You could select 30 or 60 frames per second, but then you can also change the preview frame rate, scene transitions, so if you want a crossfade or if you want a direct cut, and then you can change your source resolution, which I like to put never use lower resolution available from cameras. Then next you can adjust your power settings, but I'm just gonna leave it at 30 minutes. But to simply get your camera up and running, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just set your resolution and frame rate in camera. So you're just gonna go into your quick menu and make sure you set it to 1080, 30, or 60 frames per second. In this example, I'm gonna select 60 frames per second. And then on the software, I can actually just change my shutter speed to one over 125th of a second. If you have 30 frames per second selected, then do one over 60. And then there's some tweaks that you can make to the overall picture at the bottom, whether it's brightness, contrast, or saturation, hue, so that you can play with those things and kind of dial in your shot. Once you have your camera hooked up via USB and it recognizes it, you can test this in whatever live streaming or video conference software you use. And then wherever your camera setting is, you can just change it to the Canon EOS webcam utility. And then boom, it's gonna pull that feed from the applications. You can literally have a super dynamic stream. But some bonus tips that I would encourage you with is number one, a good USB cable. The second thing would be a continuous power adapter, you know, so to make sure that your camera doesn't die. The third thing I would encourage you to look into is a good light. If you didn't know, lighting makes any camera look even better than it already does. And then if your Canon camera so happens to have interchangeable lenses or the ability to change out a lens, I would consider getting a good lens. I'm currently using the RF 16 millimeter 2.8 lens, which gives you that nice, you know, medium wide shot or the 24 millimeter 1.8 lens, 
which gives you a nice shot, but the camera needs to be a little bit further away. And then the next thing to consider is a good USB mic so that your audio matches your video quality. A super simple and easy way to level up your video conference calls or even your live streams but I hope you got value in this video. And if you wanna check out a review video that I made on that Canon EOS R10, you can click or tap the screen. I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.